I saw that blockchain had the ability to be able to provide a chance that folks who would likely never meet each other, people of like mind and like heart, those who may have a similar vision yet come from very different backgrounds, what would happen if they work together? Like my, 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 my family's originally from a small Caribbean nation, Trinidad. And it's something where I, I, I learned growing up from my mother, a, a special appreciation for the United States and being able to work in an environment that opportunity exists, that even in a difficult, uh, rather racist town of growing up in, to be able to have a, a chance to work hard and to learn and to grow, to make something. Blockchain and what we are doing here in Kylan, and it was meant to be a distraction to let people join. It looks like we've got a good number of folks in, so I'll wrap up the uh, topic, but it's something where that's what we're really tapping into and looking to build with this marketplace. Because right now, the bottleneck in so many ways, I actually just wrote a video that's gonna be much too long compared to what we've done previously, but we'll break it down into smaller pieces, uh, ex explaining what exactly it is that data solutions can provide and how people can participate in the revenue generation of that. Um, this marketplace, and Pichu is the first step of that, is an ability for people of different backgrounds. Perhaps as somebody who, like myself, has, is a bit of an outsider with a background in digital marketing and advertising. And while I'm still learning about the underlying component of blockchain networks, I understand a lot about how to be able to use uh, demographics and psychographics to sell the crap out of various different products and services. And I know that there are companies that will happily spend hundreds of thousands of dollars just for a chance to be able to get an edge on their competition. Because when someone's spending hundreds of thousands of dollars a day on advertising, a five to 10% improvement in the conversion rate can make a huge difference. And in this case here, that's a, um, that's a business use case that while yes, a data scientist may have so much experience in terms of the various different types of algorithms available and whatever the latest technology that can be, the tech stacks that could be used to provide a solution for that problem, they'll understand that domain. The domain expertise for utilization, which is what's gonna bring mass adoption to the space, especially in data, those are separate people. And it's very seldom that a data scientist is also the domain expert in what they do and vice versa. So what happens and, and it's uh, inspiring to see, but very often you'll see these business partnerships where somebody is a something of a domain expert, whether that's advertising or maybe it's healthcare or maybe it's cosmetics, uh, whatever industry it may be, pair that with a analytical, you know, data science minded person and the solutions that are possible are typically companies that run circles around their competition. Because in this way, the domain expertise allows a deep understanding of the customer, the end customer, whatever value it is they're looking for. Perhaps the end customer is a viewer on YouTube and somebody who's looking for a chuckle uh, after a long day. Or maybe it's some makeup kit that's meant to be super easy to travel with. I don't know. But it's something that the way that these people find each other, you know, maybe it's just called the, 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 the business type folks, domain expertise and the data scientists, right now for them to interact, it'd be very difficult. Facebook groups and conferences maybe, but most people I know are not sitting around thinking, oh my goodness, I need a data scientist or I need a data engineer or a data analyst. And if they do, they're probably not excited to pay a data scientist salary. And this, this problem, it, it makes it to where there's, there's a lot of ideas, a lot of value that is locked inside of these massive, these incomprehensibly huge data sets that are collecting digital dust as of now. So creating this marketplace is, is meant to be an environment where data producers, the, the, the technical folks that are going to have the savviness to know where to look to find data, know how to retrieve that data safely, securely, and in compliance, as well as how to deliver the data 
to the end user. Then there's also going to be data producers. I mean, data is consumers. Excuse me. The the business folks, the domain expertise. In this case, the metaphor would go to blockchain. Would be the end application. Maybe it's a DeFi protocol or a metaverse gaming, a metaverse game or something. But they're looking for some kind of information. And when, well, when when those dots are able to connect, and there is a Uh, incentive of award incentive available by by providing those solutions, it then creates a market、uh, not not competitive in the sense of taking each other down, but a place where it's survival of the fittest, the best can rise to the top. So that way we can have an environment of improving in, in a rapid pace of innovation of creating data solutions while also being able to showcase to more of the、uh, business environment at large of what's possible. By being able to crowdsource data solutions, so I bring all this up. It was meant to be an introduction, introduction, and I dang sure did not keep it short.、Uh, that was another five minutes. At the same time, though, I bring all this up because that is what our first steps. I guess I just reversed the order. I was going to answer questions first and then go into this, but here was a little bit about what what is it that we envision for PTU and what is the actual utility. That we see is available, because these solutions are it, it, it's a demand right now, and we have 50 partners that all have various applications looking for data, and the query fees on that. That's a community member. That's somebody that is going to be able to generate that indefinitely.